So a few years ago, I had the honor to work with a Rhode Island Coalition for the Homeless and RIHOP, and I really just want to thank Barbara Freitas, Dee Dee Williams, who are here, along with folks, um, Karen, Leanne, Sam, John Freitas, who's no longer with us, for really teaching me what compassion was. Um, I look back at my time there really importantly for how I approach a lot of these issues. Um, I think we need to start by decriminalizing our code of ordinances. We need to make sure we're not punishing people for being homeless because we know that's a problem our city should be helping to solve. Um, we need to uh, get rid of the smoking ban. I hope my opponent rescinds his support for that ban. We need to get rid of loitering uh, laws that criminalize loitering. We need to create diversion programs that move folks into recovery, into treatment, into rehabilitation. And we need public bathrooms in a day center so people don't have to pee on the ground or defecate outside. The people should not be living in that situation if they have to do that. And ultimately, we have to look at solving this problem. And we know that solving this problem is by giving the homeless houses with wraparound services so that they can be treated for their mental health issues if they have them, so that they can go into programs for substance abuse, and so that they can live and start working and have stability to actually become members of society. The way to end homelessness is to give people homes. That is it. And I think our city, we need to figure out how to make sure our city can have a line item budget for low income and affordable housing. We need to find ways to pressure our state as a city council to make sure that they are giving us the proper funds. And we need to start lobbying to make sure the state is helping us move into fighting, a fighting homelessness by giving people homes. We had a, uh, when I was with uh, Rhode Island Coalition for the Homeless, which might have been three or four years ago now, there was a plan that could have ended homelessness in five years, and the state did not invest money in it. We need to force the state to start making sure we are protecting all of our citizens. Rather than spending money on putting them in jails, we need to be giving them homes.